Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 6. We picked up from turn 45 in the autumn season of 191. So it's been a while. Uh, we took a break from episode 5 because of, we had a PC issue. Uh, but now we're back with a new computer and we gotta get resituated with our situation. Uh, we have three commanderies in the northeast corner of the map. Uh, we have Liao Xi, Yu Bei Ping, and Yu Zhou. And our main goal right now is to just reduce the fervor down so we can finally leave the area. And one of the big issues with our break is that during the break, they put a patch in. And the patch uh, changed the tax collection building from reducing fervor, like all the yellow government building, to increasing fervor. Which makes a bit of sense, because increasing tax of your uh, local residents should increase their fervor to join the rebellion. So we're going to actually make a few changes here. We're going to get rid of these buildings now in all our commanderies because I don't want to have fervor as an issue going forward so it's a little bit of a sad move but we have to do it uh, and not to waste a turn we're gonna actually convert this building during this turn as well and other than that we can't do much in regards to the other two commandery uh, we have a few other things we need to focus on we need to focus on finding Liu Bei a wife so that we can have another source of authority uh, she needs to be a commander. That's basically the only requirement. And we also need to flush out some of our higher level characters like her, like him. Basically, people above level 2 that have no real use going forward. Uh, these two have burnt, uh, burnt as one of their traits, so we can't get rid of them. Um, so we just have to put up with them. But for these generals, we can generally uh, get rid of them to reduce our... Um, well, he's also super expensive, so... Get, uh, re they're reducing our, what do you call it, our, our unity every turn because they're not happy with us. So we're gonna just get rid of him. Now we can summon Zhang Liao into this army group and give him some experience. Uh, it would have been, been cheaper if we found a wife with flexibility, but I don't have time for that. Um, we're gonna be dumping a couple guys. He's one of them. And then we're also going to dump her. Got to get rid of her item first. She's holding a fan. I mean, she is on assignment for something right now, but uh, it's for income. What we're going to do is actually we're going to use our uh, commanders to go on assignment and reduce fervor uh, through brute force. We're just going to have to get rid of fervor fast and start thinking about how to expand. So goodbye for her. And everyone else I think we are happy to keep, or we're forced to keep because of their uh, burn trait. And I don't think there's anyone where we should recruit. I mean, we could recruit him for his item, and also he can give us a few unity points for a few turns just because he's level 1. So just recruited will give him um, pretty high happiness. So he's 82 for now. It's going to drop as recently higher and uh, goes down. But for this few turns, we can get an item from him, right? Which is basically our goal to begin with. And then for the next few turns, we can still have him provide us some unity points as he serve us. All right, we're going to give it to him. Just because he's really low in terms of satisfaction. And then boost her over 60 as well. All right. And then we might as well put him over 80. And he should give us at least one point, two points. So yeah, he'll be very useful for two points. So since we're going to get him, hired him for his item anyway, might as well get him to give us some unity as well. So this will just delegate. There's no item on them. There we go. Also more unity here. And we're just going to move them back closer to this commandery. I think these are the only two commandery that could have rebellions. This one's kind of calmed down already. Alright, and we have that open assignment slot. Let's see, we're going to put them here. Where we have 100 fervor. And he can come in and drop fervor with this assignment here. Quell on rest. Which will lower our um, income. But um, it will drop fervor pretty fast. Now we can still try to spawn some rebels by altering our tax rate. Um, that's definitely an option. But I'm kind of worried about dropping our tax rate with Guan Yu's army away from Lao Xi. 
We'll see. If Laosi recovers to a decent amount of um, public order, we can change our tax rate a little bit. Because if we go up one, minus six is probably doable. Especially if we get rid of this. This is minus nine. Plus, oh, so yeah, let's do it. Let's go up by one. Yeah, one's fine. And this will still be positive after this building demolishes, so we'll be okay. And we can still see some rebels over here where our armies are, so pretty efficient way to do this. Let's continue. Alright, Yuan Sha wants to sign a non-aggression pact. We're going to pass because we're at war with um, one of their coalition members, um, Konro. So we're going to just pass on this for now. Washi? Hmm. Lu Zhi likes this. Okay, then I guess we'll take the deal uh, per turn. Yeah, it's slightly better than the deal he offered us. Alright, Coron is peacing out with people. Maybe he'll offer us a peace deal too. I don't really want to fight him. Oh, Sun Jian died to his event. Guess he went after Liu Bell. Ah, potentially a wife. Uh, that's a pretty bad background. Pretty bad traits. Actually, very bad traits. But decent. Uh, maybe I should wait. I don't think she's worth it. Oh, she has a lot of items, though. Oh, he has a lot of items. Okay, we're gonna recruit both of them just for the item sake. Let's take a look. Ooh, let's take a look at them. We could make her our wife. It would help everyone, right? She would boost everyone's authority by a little bit. All right, if we give her the right items. Plus six. Yeah, that's not bad. I guess we can use her as a wife for now. We can always switch wives later. It only costs a little bit to marry and divorce. Money is not an issue. All right, let's make her heir. Alright, so now everyone should be happier. Let's see. Ling Cao. Ooh, Brent. Okay, okay, that's good. We'll let him keep his stuff then. Oh, this is also good. We'll put this on her for extra income. And. Probably want to give this to Lu Fan. Give satisfaction, and the bow doesn't. I don't think anyone need to actually use a bow right now. Rather keep everyone happy. I don't know how we're going to keep him happy though. Might need to summon him onto the field to be honest. Yeah, we just have to swallow these three guys until we get another army slot. Okay, um, so in these new empty slots, we're just going to build private workshops. It's going to go the very standard uh, private workshop, state workshop, and in, in template. And then let's see. This is neutral. Fervor is going to die down. Right, fervor is dropping. Well, not yet, but it will once these assignments come online. So this one's ready online. All right, let's push this one down. And also give our air some levels here. So once we get fervor down, we can start taxing higher too. We'll just put them here in between. And then they can get some levels. Alright, rebelling here next turn. Perfect. Uh, construction done in one turn. Do we want to get rid of the farm? Three food. Yeah, probably we can because we don't actually need to be more food. We're not upgrading any of these to a city just yet. All right, we're gonna alter that build. All right, happy with where things are. Let's continue. Feather fan. Hmm, if you really want it. Actually, we probably want to save it for diplomacy because right now it's really hard to expand. We might just save it for to trade territories. So, probably no. Not yet. Alright, Lady Wu took over. Kong Rong joined a war with Yuan. Okay. But then signed a peace right away. Interesting. Sun Tzu comes of age. Perfect timing. 
Liu Chuang and Lü Bu declares war. Sure thing. Wonder who dies there. I mean, you're really ancient. I wonder if you had any good items from uh, the High Empire faction or Liu Hong's faction. Don't think I need any of you guys, but we can check items. You never know. Right, Book of Mountain and Sea. Good item. Not keeping the character though. High level, going to be very hard to keep happy. We're going to get some extra movement range here. We're going to get his sword, which we can probably give to Mi Feng, who will probably be our next administrator. And Book of Mountain and Sea, probably better on him. And then we're going to give the other book to... Ooh. No one really needs it, but I can give it to him for happiness. Yeah. And then we're just going to clean out the character. Yeah, 41 is too low. It's going to drop our satisfaction. Uh, unity. Uh, is he going to drop our 74? He's married? Oh, they're married to each other. We got a pair here. Interesting. Okay, our unity is almost at 250. 7 this turn, plus farming him. Okay, so that's good. We can, we can actually get enough. Unity this turn. Alright, we're just gonna delegate this fight. Alright. We can farm him again. We're gonna let them take care of them now. Or I could have, I could actually let them spawn a little bit more men. Yeah, 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 actually, let's do that. Let's see if they spawn a new general with the item. And also, I think them being in the commandery is also actually they're gonna mm, they're gonna lower the public order pretty hard here. Right, then never mind, never mind. We're just gonna finish them off. That way we get more rebels out. Because every turn the rebels on the field, the commander that spawned them gains plus 20. So now it's going to go back to negative. Much more ideal state. Um, let's get the inn upgrade in first. Build the inn here. Alright, Zhang Liao leveled up. Perfect. Night battle time. Probably get another trade route. Probably the most financial or sound way. Or get this for level 3 buildings. But probably trade route first and then we'll get this next year. And then we'll see who wants to trade with us. Ah, only one faction left. We'll take it though. We'll even offer you one food to get as much gold back as possible. 3.0? That is quite generous. Alrighty. Uh, we don't really need money. We need a way to expand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? Okay, we're, we're getting company. We're gonna get them closer to the coast and then we're gonna recruit. Just a temporary army though. Not really looking to fill the full army, like a final expansion army until we're ready to move out. Okay, that's pretty s not that strong. We can deal with that. Um, let's just continue. Oh, so Koron wants peace now? I mean, sure. This is probably a better deal though. He definitely doesn't have per turn income because he just has one county. Does he have any items? Nope. Okay, we'll take this deal. Alright, so Liu Chuan and Yuan Shao is working together. This is so weird to see. Alright, and then we pieced out perception or directness. Perceptive. Or ob unobservant. Okay, definitely perspective perception then. New characters, not really good. I don't think I need vanguards unless they have good items. 
Nope. 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 Okay. Pass. Uh, 250. I guess next turn, once we go over, we can get another... Get another uh, administrator. That would be very helpful. All right, so they peaced out with us. Are they at war with anyone else? Oh, they were at war. Okay, maybe they'll fight Dong Zhuo, and then we can actually trade with them. Hmm. Okay. All right, we're just gonna stand here and replenish. Let's see where he goes. Um. It'd be nice if he take a couple pieces of land and then we can trade with him. That's the goal now. Fervor is dropping, dropping, dropping. Yeah, everything is dropping. Good. That's what we want to see. All right, let's continue. So I will you a hmm, Tao Tian wants to buy a fan from us. Let's wait on it. We might need it for diplomacy. All right. So the good news is Koron's moving to the right direction. All right, we're going to follow behind. Um, I'm going to keep the army on the field for a little while just to give us a better diplomacy ratio here. And we're also going to try to trade for this uh, fishing port here too. Alright. Rebellion not happening. Rebellion not happening. Minus... Oh, this is not good. The tax is killing this situation here. Because it hasn't dropped completely yet. It's going to take it a few more turns to drop completely. So we're going to ease back the taxes for now. I don't want a rebellion to happen here while our armies are over here. Oh, do we have the administrator slot? Because that's what he's for. Not yet. We're over 250. How come we don't have it yet? We'll hang in there. Whenever we get it, we're going to put you in. Lu Fun? You don't need this. Uh, hold on to the farmer for us. And we're going to put you with this. Yeah, that's fine. Is he still happy with us? Yeah, 66 still pretty good. Uh, it's going to hurt us a little bit there. Alright, let's see. What else to build here? In building. Need a reform for more buildings. The level's all capped. Although we want a trade route with Korong too. So we might be stuck without being able to build anything here for a while. Unless we go up a tier, but I don't see a benefit to that, especially with our food situation. So we're just going to wait. Let's continue. No, we're going to save our items. Alright, vassalized. Hmm, what old faction is this? This is Liu, Liu He's maybe? Not sure. I mean, it was Liu Hui Hui, but I forgot who Liu Hui Hui was part of. War declared between Cao Song and Kong. Okay. Alright, he's going to take this, and then we can trade for it. 53 is a little old. Oh! Well, she's going to be a better wife, but she's really old. Eh, so probably not a better wife. Bright. Alright, unless they have items, we're not hiring anyone. That dog doesn't count. Ah, finally, administrator slot. All right, we're gonna just do this outside. We're gonna put him here. All sources, industry. Actually, Laosi might be even better because this is hard to upgrade. We need like two reforms for this. Right, we need the this reform. Actually, just one reform. Hmm. All right, then here because it's more defensive in terms of positioning. Alright, so he's going to be happy. That's good. Alright. Let's... Move forward a little bit. Plus six, plus seven. We have an open assignment. There's nothing to build here. Uh, over here. We could continue to build up here. So let's up level her up. Let's see if we can trade for this. How much do you value the fishing port? 24. Right, let's make a big payment, like 5,000. Oh, that's okay. Mm, 8,000. Oh, that's close. 15 is the max you can get. Okay. 250. 
200, 100, 150, okay. And then we'll give him some items. Axe is pretty bad. Oh, we have a horse? Okay, Mifon's Mif getting that. This is pretty useless. We can give this up to plus one. Uh, plus one. So, instead of... Okay, hold on. Instead of this, we're going to do a combination of one food and some cash. Like, 200 cash. Well, that's too much. Okay. 150. Okay. 146. Alright. Bought a piece of land. Okay. And then we don't have to really worry about fervor here because the rebellion is going to happen over here. Alright. So plus 6, plus 7. But how come only plus 5 here? Well, basically, once the fervor is gone, we can shift tax back up again. But right now, we really can't. Okay, and our food is fine. Let's hope he takes the horse pasture, then we can trade for that as well. Let's continue. Alright, Yuan Shu wants to get legitimacy from us? No way. Alright, Korong did his job. Time to trade it with him. We have a lot of things, we have a lot of things that we can trade with him, because... Um, we ha we don't ha we haven't assigned any of these non-aggression. Oh, there we go! Wow, he really wants a non-aggression pack with us. I guess he's worried that we just wipe him out. Mm, that's a fair concern. Any good items you have? Nope. We'll take money then. Right, we probably want to take cash. It was fifty, so at least five hundred. Any chance for a thousand? Well, actually, a thousand is too greedy. Can we even get five hundred? Yes, we can. Um, 700? 770, okay. It's not bad. Conquer more land for us. We still have items. Alright, so we're expanding. We're expanding. Through diplomacy. Alright, All right, extra level. Let's keep the army in case we can trade for more land. Cheaply. How much does he value this? It's only a small town. Wow. Okay, never mind. We'll just take it by force when we're ready for war. Right now, we're just not at that stage yet. Um, it's only a turn. Can't build anything. We've gotta wait for reforms next turn. All right, people unhappy with us? Yeah. What else is new? At least we're gaining net net gain here. Let's continue. Wow, Liu Yu is offering us a very juicy non-aggression pack. He only has one territory, so we can't gain anything other than money from him. Maybe we can get some sort of combo that makes more sense for us. Alright, because that's, that's, a, that's a lot more money than this already. But I think we can balance it a little bit. Come on. Ah, oh, we, we had it. There we go. It's a little bit less, but it's fine. Alright, Guan Yu Zhang Fei, good relationship. So, Korong went in. I, I want to I see how he does against... Oh, he's encamped. Okay. Well, Dong Zhuo's here. He's already fat because he got the capital already. Hmm. We got another craftsman. Okay. Oh, we had that horse. Alright, I forgot about the horse. Uh, not that great. We'll check for items. Yep, both not that great. Oh, good items though. So that item 
he, she leveled up, is going to go on uh, Administrator. Actually, plus 12, that's a better weapon. So John is going to take it for better stats. And she can't, she can, okay. More expertise. Perfect. And then we can fire him because he's going to be unhappy with us. We really just need another army count. Alright, we can trade with Coral. Alright, we can also pick up this for another army count, to be honest, but I want to be second Marquise as well. Well, actually, we need buildings. Because we ran out of places to build in the LC already, so that first. That way we can upgrade these. This one first. Alright, Fervor is pretty much dropping pretty fast. This one still need it. This one played uh, six. Yeah, we probably still need it for a couple turns until it drops to zero. Alright, this is officially zero, but still negative three because the county is still at 45. So we gotta wait quite a bit before we can raise taxes, I guess. Or, actually, let's raise taxes because the Simon's giving them artificial boosts. So we can farm rebels elsewhere. What if we go all the way? Alright, still plus one. Minus four is fine. Minus ten, so we can farm rebels here. Alright, good idea. And then we can force a rebel here, and also force a rebel here, because we're lowering taxes like crazy on these uh, counties. Alright, interesting take. Let's go on. Um, I don't think we're keeping her for the long term. She's just here for assignments for now. So we're going to just do that. Alrighty. Uh, let's continue. Assuming... Oh, we already have two craftsmen. We have three craft... No, wait, wait, wait. Hmm, did we get... Did we just get a third? I don't know. Did we get just get a third one? Yes, we did. We did get a third one. Interesting. Okay. Might as well give him the bow. Alright, this will make you a little bit happier. Alright, everyone's good. Let's continue. Alright, they want to ally with us. No deal. Alright, so Koron's army went south, which is smart, I guess. But we probably can't trade for that territory even if he captures it. Um, it's interesting that Dongzhuo's army is here. It's kind of tempting for us to go strike at him too, but I don't think that's a good idea. This army is just not strong enough. We need the generals here to do it, to be honest. It's okay. We gotta get Fervor under control first. Everything has a order here. Hmm... This gives us prestige, which is what we need. Yeah, we need 14 more prestige. Let's get this first. And over here, in, then private workshop, then state workshop. Alright, we're gonna get a little bit of prestige here too, right? No, still only 5. 10 here, and then 15 here. So we could get 10 more here, and that would be enough. Uh, we just need to pick up... I think horse pasture reforms are right here. Yeah. These are ones we want anyways, so we could go that direction. This is also good. So our, yeah, these there's a bunch of good options. We can use this for tool maker, we can use this for um, iron mine. We can get our prestige up, no problem. Creative, okay. Alright, rebellion, that's what we want. Yeah, and we're going to force them to have rebellions too. Bohai in particular. We might want to shift this army down. There's a good chance that Bohai could fall. We can wait at this entrance and just march in. That would be excellent. Our taxes, their rebellion. Let's continue. Nope, not joining your coalition. Alright, so Koron and them fought. I think Dongzhuo won, barely. 
I mean, this is a really good chance, to be honest, to wipe out Dong Zhuo. But Lu Zhi's army is here, and they're in a coalition. So the second we, the second that we fight them, yeah, I don't think it's gonna end pretty for us. Hmm, uh, not too bad. Food production, public order, eh, not great. Alright, pass unless they have great items. She has two okay items. Hmm, not worth it. So I guess we won't see an actual rebellion here. Would, would, would you still be willing to trade it for this? 35, that's just a little too much. Alright, we got our own rebels to kill though. No items, so we're just gonna finish them off here. Let's build this up, and then they're done building again. This army is really weak. If we had another army count, we could set up another army here. Yeah. Well, fervor is done here. Yeah, I think we can recall the assignment. This need another turn. Yeah, we cleaned up Fervor pretty well. This one is going to take a little bit of time, but it's not going to affect it anymore. And then I guess this army will go back to just farming our own rebels because Koron's done over here. Mm. We could just acquire untrustworthiness and fight him off it's really tempting but we're probably gonna get destroyed over here by this coalition member if he joins them in the war against us which I think it's very possible if somehow we can convince this army to leave it'll be really good I think, the, I think the key is acquiring this town. If we can acquire the town, then they have no reason to be here. And they will actually leave. Uh, we have nothing to offer. 35. 35 is too much. Like, we can give him... Oh, we still haven't traded the horse yet. But yeah, we don't have enough good items to get. Because if we pay him 15 up front... And then, technically we can pay him 15 points up per turn. It will really kill our economy, but it's doable. It would just be a really crazy move. We can consider it. 30 points, 2, 5, and then we can actually attack them within 2 turns. And not worry about then this army. Mm, let's try it. So what we're going to do is we're going to offer him our I two items that are decent quality. We can, I, he can take the third one too. And then we're going to give him a flat payment, probably around 9,000 again. Maybe a little less. Oh, actually not much less. 8,750 maybe? Eight. Okay. 650. Okay, and then make him per turn payments of maybe like 500. That's not too bad. Six ninety. Okay. I think this is worth it. We get to take. 
the town here in Bohai. It can be our farming town, farming and commerce. And then we can start attacking Dong Zhuo soon. We can just backstab one person. Oh, we don't even have to backstab him. He'll pull his army away, and then the rebellion here would, would ruin him. Yeah, let's do it. This is like the same way you would play tall. Basically, you would just diplomatically gain territory. So we'll pull back. There's going to be a rebellion here soon. Satisfaction. Okay, it's a nice building, but not the one we're looking for. We could try our forge strategy if we can get this to a. We need to get this to a, at least a large town, I believe. Small city. At least a small city. We don't have any more money. Oh man, we're poor now. Um, taxes, because I don't mind rebellions for a while, and I don't mind fervor high here. Yeah, we're just going to let the rebels deal with Dongzhuo's army. He's kind of in trouble very soon. Maybe we should drop taxes. Yeah, maybe it's too high. Drop it one tier. Just so we don't have public water issues everywhere. We got to control it a little bit. Alright, we're going to run them down. Peaceful behind. We're going we're gonna to farm over here in Bohai. Alright, that's a nice piece of land that we got. We still have coastal issues, but that's a minor concern now. Alright, let's take next turn. Alright, Liu Bao and Liu Hong join a war against Yuan Shao. Sure thing. Um, Trader. Okay, that's something Liu Bei could use, actually. And then this item can go to our heir. Uh, really need a new wife. Ooh, Cao. He is really not happy with us. We need to put him on the field. We can play recall Guan Yu or Zhang Fei back, actually. And then we can swap one over. Probably want to reduce fervor here. Just to counteract the tax collection a little bit. Do we want to convert this? Oh, probably not. Public order com- I mean, yes, but not now. Alright, that's fine. He's super happy, right? Yeah, so we can recall Zhang Fei, actually. And then recruit. Ah, uh, we don't have the money to recruit him. We're 30 gold short. Hmm. I'm sure we can sell something for 30 gold. Thirty gold? Okay, we can't sell anything for 30 gold. Um someone else? There we go. Oh she has eleven K. She's actually rich. Alright, we can probably scale down this army too, because I don't think we're attacking them right away. We have a lot of... Hmm, we don't have a lot of deals. Let's see, are we ready to take on this coalition? Probably not right away. We need to build Bohai up a little bit first. Yeah, not right away. This needs to be at least a small city before we can think about it, so it'll be a while. Um, we do have the money now, so... Be a pricey... Let's see, unless we're like close to a next level up to get... Okay, she's far away from flexibility. Yeah, so nothing's gonna change, we're just gonna recruit him. Just to keep him happy on the field. And to give us a little bit of gold, we can probably get rid of these guys. Yeah, we'll go back to our pre coronal level. And we'll build a conscription building here eventually too, so... There we go. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna finish this and then just build this up real quick. Let's continue. Nope, not getting vassalized by you. Alright. And don't go pieced out. Tall Song's death. Okay, this is still a Tall Tian event. It's similar to um, the 190 start. I wonder if he's gonna ask us for help. Oh, Lu Bu's available. There's no way we can keep him happy, but I think we can grab his items. Yeah, yeah let's grab his item. Guan Yu's gonna get his horse. That's a pretty good, good thing to happen to us. Let's see. These are the four characters. He still has items. Good. All right. Welcome. Yeah, we need a lot of points. We need. Let's see how many points. We need 31 points. Yeah, that's not happening. We don't have any, um, we don't have high enough rank to have any uh, court positions for him to keep him happy. He's level 7. Oh, Liu Chong wiped him out. What a man. Um, yeah, we're just gonna say, we'll give him a, s yeah, Spears play better looking for him. So Zhao Yun's gonna get the Sky Piercer. Ah, went on cooldown. Silly me. Uh, he's gonna get the Sky Piercer. Guan Yu's gonna get the horse, and then Guan Yu's horse is gonna go to Zhang Fei. There we go. This army should shift over here in case the rebels do succeed. And this army needs to come here to farm the rebels over here. Perfect. Don't have enough cash. We'll stick to tax. Uh, we'll just wait a turn, actually. Or else we're not going to be able to build this for a few more turns. Uh, Fervor going down. Yeah, we should still let Fervor go down. Perfect. And then we'll get a tax route, uh, trade route next turn. We're just going to fire him now. Good luck on your next lord. Okay, I think we'll just end our turn now. Alright, they want the wooden fish, but I think I'm going to keep it in case I need to buy more land. Alright, Tal Song's officially dead. Yeah, making friends with bandits. We have a son! Okay, and Liu Bei and Zhao Yun's relationship going up. Let's check out our son. What? Ah, uh, he's a sentinel. Okay, not bad. Liu Qing. We can actually see what character he has, actually. Let's see. Liu Qing. Wait, do we not see babies here? I guess we can't see what character he is until he comes of age. That's a little sad. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to end our episode here. Ooh, White Stallion. So a lot of good things happening to us. Uh, we officially expanded out our little corner through peaceful means. We let Coron do the fighting for us here, and then we traded for it. And then we used heavy costs here. Big, expensive price to buy these two land away from Luzhi, just so we don't have to be making enemies at this point. We're going to continue getting fervor under control. Taking over these uh, X Yellow Turban land is definitely a slow process, and we're going to also level up this uh, commandery up a little bit. And once we do that, I think we'll get our next rank pretty soon. And then we'll get more armies, and then we'll actually start turning on Dong Zhuo and take over the north, kind of like this, uh, into the bandits, and then going down south as well. So that's our plan going forward. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and see you all next time. Bye!